I stumbled across this project, well, not exactly stumbled, they DM'd me and reached out. And this is a Cardano phone. Now, I first heard of these ecosystem phones when Solana brought out their phone, and I thought it was all gimmicky and what's the point? Good marketing though, but I dug in a little bit deeper to understand why they built something purpose-built for the Solana DeFi ecosystem, and it kind of makes sense. And it's good to see that someone else is trying to do this in the Cardano ecosystem as well. Let's dig into it a little bit more. So this Black Rocket phone here is built with the Graphene OS operating system. This is a specific operating system with privacy and security in mind and built for Android phones. So anyone can pick up this operating system, install it on their Android phone and get up and running. But what the team are doing here is they're customizing that uh, operating system and putting in and integrating in all the things that you need from a Cardano perspective. So this is everything from uh, wallets that might be needed, uh, dApps that are, can be integrated into the phone installation itself and all sorts of other things. So having a really nice secure operating system, especially for users that only use their mobile device for their DeFi uh, JPEG trade NFTs, whatever it is, I think is a really good play. Now, what I'd really love to see is deep integration of a particular Cardano wallet to the phone itself. That way, whenever you're operating and using all these dApps out there, you may be browsing through them, you can easily sign transactions, uh, integrate with the dApp itself, and not need to switch between all sorts of different windows and applications to participate in DeFi or trade or whatever it might be. So having that deep integration with the operating system and a wallet, I think is really key. And there's a couple of projects out there, a couple of wallets that I think would be a great match for Black Rocket phone and the operating system customization itself. It is definitely still early days for the project and over the next six months, they'll be delivering various ROMs. And this is uh, like flash operating systems that you can upload to existing mobile devices. They'll be concentrating on the Google Pixel 7a, the Google Pixel 8 and 8 Pro, and then working on over the air updates for these uh, particular devices. So they're the first ones that they're going to go out there and start working on. So if you have a Google Pixel 7a or 8 or 8 Pro phone, you could possibly use this operating system and uh, update it to Graphene OS or the Black Rocket phone and essentially be a brand new uh, operating system specific for the Cardano ecosystem. So it's going to be interesting to see how that all works. And I think that this part of the development for the project would need a lot of users testing out that particular operating system and giving a lot of feedback back. So if you have one of those Google Pixel phones or maybe um, you can pick one up cheaply on uh, eBay or at second hand, you can uh, flash your operating system and upgrade it to this particular uh, Black Rocket phone and be able to use it and give some feedback for the team itself. Now, later on in the year, they'll be curating a list of applications and dApps that will be installed and pre-configured on the phone. And then they'll be looking at doing a crowdfunding process for about 200 phones or at least 200 phones. Now, I don't know what this may look like. They may be customizing a custom built uh, hardware device as well as the operating system. So it might look really slick. I don't know. It's like I said, it's still very, very early days. But let me know what you guys think. Would you buy this phone? Would you use it specifically for the Cardano ecosystem? I think it's quite an interesting play here. And if it does look like a really cool uh, phone that comes out eventually, I think it's really good marketing for the Cardano ecosystem too. So we'll wait and see what the guys deliver. Like I said, it's still very early days. All the links, Twitter accounts, everything else down below for you guys so you can check it out. If you are interested in helping with the project, contributing or uh, giving some ideas to the team so they can steer it in a particular direction, join their Discord, contact them on Twitter. Let's see what we can do with this particular project. If you enjoyed this content, if you like finding some of these hidden gems that are building in the Kadana ecosystem, make sure you give me that follow, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast.